Look at St. Louis. The McCloskeys now being charged with felony crimes for defending their home against a, a mob that was threatening to, to burn their house down. And we've seen places burned down. St. Louis saw, saw places burned down. I, I watched... I watched Mr. McCla the, the the attorney. He's a he's a um, personal injury attorney. I think he and his wife are both attorneys. And I watched this guy on TV last night. Tucker asked him what it feels like to be prosecuted by this radical St. Louis prosecutor, Kim, what's her name, Gardner. And she decided to to make some kind of example out of the McCloskeys. You've seen the video right now. They're in their yard. In their bare feet, they had been eating dinner. They hear the crash. They see the mob coming through. The the police are nowhere to be found. They take their lead. They they take their legally registered lawful firearms and stand in their yard so the mob wouldn't come crashing into their home. Now she's announced they're being charged with felony criminal conduct. Here was here was uh, Mark McCloskey last night on Fox News Channel's Tucker Carlson show talking about what it feels like to have the weight of the of the prosecutor's office of St. Louis coming crashing down around him. And I can't imagine how you feel like you've woken up in a country you don't recognize. Um, tell us where you are right now legally, if you would. Well, it's a totally upside down world, Tucker. The people that broke into my neighborhood, they're all trespassing. The, the, the guy that recruited it, that planned this event, said the next day that he intended to break the law, that it was his, he needed to break laws in order to send his message. None of those people are arrested. None of those people are charged. The prosecutor, the, the circuit attorney has apparently decided that her job as a prosecutor isn't to keep us safe from criminals, but to keep the criminals safe from us. It's, it's a bizarre upside down world. I've been a little irritated by this process until today. Now I'm just flat out pissed off. I mean, this, is, this has gotten to be outrageous. I mentioned earlier to somebody that their lives have been ruined. There's no question. I don't know how they could stay in their home. Um, they're not backing down. But, of course, everybody now knows where they live, know about the neighborhood, knows the story. And they're going to have to move, I would think. I don't know. Maybe they don't. Maybe it all blows over. Maybe the mob will leave them alone. Maybe the mob will, will never bother them again. Do you think that's possible? Tucker asked them that last night. Tucker asked them, you know, where do you, where do you go from here? And it's it's a it's a reasonable question. I mean, you've got to ask yourself, how in the world? And it, and their weapons were confiscated by this goofy, insanely uh, radical prosecutor who says you can't wave weapons around to threaten people. Th what in your home? with a mob that's threatening to burn their house down and kill their dog and come after them? You can't have a weapon, your weapon, to defend yourself? This is, this is stunning, this turn of events. Tucker asked McCloskey last night, are you going to be able to stay in your home? Are you going to stay in a place that seeks to put you in prison for defending yourself? You know... Everybody has to stand up and, and, and do what's right. And I'm not going to be bullied. I'm, I'm not going to be intimidated. The left, the mob, uses social intimidation and threats to get people to knuckle under and, and apologize for doing what's right. And we're not going to apologize for doing what's right. We're not going to back down and we're not going to move. People need to stand up, wake up, and recognize this for what it is. It's a concerted effort to destroy our way of life, to change the fundamental basic pro social contract to do away with capitalist democracy and replace it with mob rule, encouraging violence, protecting the criminals and prosecuting people that try to defend themselves against it. It's a bizarro world. It is a bizarro world. We need to pray for the McCloskeys. You got to pray that, that, that they uh, are safe. You got to pray that, that they get the resources they need. Um, I mean, he, as he pointed out, the police did weren't there. The private security that that neighborhood apparently has, they they didn't show up. Everybody, of course, is afraid of a mob. One eight hundred six five five Mike. Let's get your reaction to all of it here on this Tuesday edition of the Mike Gallagher Show in the ReliefFactor.com studios. Portions of our show brought to you by Fellowship Home Loans. 
800-510-MIKE. Go to fellowshiphomeloans.com. Fellowship Home Loans. Welcome home and welcome in. Let's get your take on the bizarro world we're living through right now. 800-655-MIKE. I hope you join us. <laughs> 